Hello and welcome back to this blind let's play of Trails in the Sky, second chapter. That's Trails. Trails, not Trials. With me, SLJRPG. Uh, in the last episode, we made our way in LaSalle Canyon for the first time. We learned a bit more about the updated quartz that we've got. And we've got a special mission here to receive some documents here in these sewers. So, without any further ado, let's get on. We've got a new teammate here. Monsters already? That was quick. I'd say it'd be a perfect warm up though. This is our first real fight in a while. It might be worth going over the basics of fight again. How about it, Estelle? Wanna go over everything or skip straight to the uh, practical stuff? Just train crafts. Should we skip straight to the practical stuff? I kinda just wanna try out these train crafts we've been practicing. Music to my ears. Alright, let's plow through these critters double time. Right. Back to the fun fighting menu. Well, so much monsters, but this kind of looks like the end of the path. Alright, looks like, although, think we can finally give it a shot? Uh, it? Oh, you mean Chaincraft, right? We'll put a lot of sweat into learning these new chain tacks, okay? Say we try them out in a real fight, feel free to see how they work in practice. Works for me, come on. Right, just say when. Here we go. Chaincraft's a technique that allow multiple characters to attack in unison. Craft. Chain 1. Hint. To use chain craft, select the party members to join and then attack a target. The minimum level CP is required to participate. CP. Maximum participants will be shown 30 in the upper left. Okay. More participants, the greater the attack range. Further, the back in the combination attack will also have greater attack power. So we can train with both these guys. Okay. And then we can choose here which one we're going to do it to. I mean, these things aren't that strong anyway, so we'll go here. Let's do this, Brad. Ooh, that is tasty. It must be said. We've got a water canyon now. So these things are weak to fire, so let's do the fire bolt. And then let's have a quick gander at these cards. We've got Chain 1, we've got Swordwind Slash, and Petal Dance. So let's do a Firebolt there, easily done. And then what have we got here? we got all of the ones that we had, Hard Break. Should we do another chain? We can't. Let's just set up ourselves up for another Firebolt. Then... Let's just attack. Boom, easily done. These numbers feel ridiculous at the start of a game. But I suppose we are really strong now. <laughs> and we finally got some more separate too. Piece of cake. Alright, we're, we're at it. What's up, Estelle? Well, the monster guy best record we learned as soon as we have to fight, right? Oh, good thinking. I told you he was going to suggest that. Give me a second, I'll write it up real quick. Alright, got it all down. Information will automatically be recorded in Monster Guide. Got information, blah blah blah. So that's good. So we now know with those things that they are weak to fire, so we can exploit that. So let's have a bit of a gander. Turbo mode is so handy. Why did I not have it before? So there appears to be a bunch of these levers. These things are weak to fire as well. Yeah, might as well just tack on with that. Easily done. They do not give us that much to level up though. Uh, and this one has another one. So, first things first. Let's do some switches. Can be moved. Flip right. So we can see what's going on there. Okay, let's see if that works. <laughs> let's firstly go ahead here. This takes us out of the room. Interesting. The server gander in there first. Annoying, but not the end of the world. We can actually do a combat. Oh, nice, and I want to see more of these arts. 
Let's get rid of the little one first. Water cannon. That's fine. We can use another combat, actually. Che called an ally. Okay. Swordwind slash. Let's take out the weaker one of these two. Another water cannon. Okay, maybe these things aren't joking. Let's do another comet. We're gonna fireball this dude. And then we'll do... One of these, just to see it. Easily done. We're getting all of the things, and we got more ingredients. Okay, this appears to be a dead end for right now, or does it? There's lever that can be moved. Drop lever. So that brings the water down. I should probably keep an eye on this <laughs> stuff, because I've not been doing And we can now move in the water, which is actually handy. Right, five volt. Onto this dude. Let's use the healing art. Onto Estelle. She is definitely getting the most front of this now. And there's a big old heal. Okay, firebolt. One. We'll just randomly attack here, and then we'll also just randomly attack here, and that should be enough. Piece of cake. I agree. And we got some more clear gelatin. Monsters appeared. Okay, fun. Okay, this is going to be a lot more difficult than the others, I believe. So, what we're going to use first is a hurricane. Like so. Let's just attack this. Get one out of the way. Pulled my allies. But we can do a chain here. We need 30. Okay, that's fine. What we'll do is we'll just set up a firebolt anyway onto one of the newer dudes. That's fine. There's one here, and then this should allow us to do a chain next time and take out a whole bunch of them at the same time. So let's do the chain. Now let's figure out what the best version is. Probably this one here. Okay. It's not starting us off easy, which is fine. Let's take out one. Craft here. Oh. Nice, that is a nice looking attack. And we got a miss there. Do a hurricane. Make sure they're all hit. Let's do a tear onto Estelle just to make sure she's alright. Do another chain. Take out all but one. We've got another ally being called. Let's just get rid of this two first. One. Knowing that the critical. But let's do a fire bolt to the new dude. Do a heal to ourselves. With Annalise. This would take out that one. And then this should leave us fairly open just to wheel this dude down. <laughs> she is invincible apparently. What have we got here? A proxy puppet. For sale. Reviving bomb. Never used. As we got surprised here, which is annoying. But no problem. Right, let's get this fire bomb on the go. 
do the sword and slash. We got a crit and took one out, which is always good. One five out there. We've run out of the P, that's fine. Let's do an aqua strike. Yeah. I know took that dude out anyway. Then let's just attack our way back. Oh yeah. Okay. So that feels like all we can do up here. We can head up to this section. It won't work. Okay, that's good to know. Right, let's make our way back. As you get the preemptive attack here, which is actually really handy. Let's use Hurricane to begin with. I'm gonna do this, this one. Hopefully, this takes out this one. It doesn't, that's annoying. I will take this. This should take out at least one of them. Let's just attack regularly here. And then attack regularly here. There's one down. Then once again. I'm not sure if I'm doing great or bad or whatever, but we're making our way through. Right, so we did this side. Let's have a look see at what this enabled us to do. Return to original position, which is fine. Take it to the left. There may be some good goodies for us here. Preemptive strike. We can't use the fire, that's so annoying. Let's just take it down in the way that we know how. Might need to eat that herby sandwich so we learn that recipe very soon. <laughs> so let's, yeah, let's do that. Let's make sure we use it up. Herby sandwich, use onto Estelle. We learned the recipe for that and we learned nature's bounty as well, just so we know. As we've got another spot here. Okay. There's a lot of puzzles here. Silver earring, nice. The water is evidently too high there to go. We need to keep an eye on all of these things. Right, let's go across. It's annoying that I go I don't have the ability to use arts but hopefully we'll get a level up soon. I'm so used to having all of the the XP that it's kind of fine. Right let's do piercing wave. Let's see this. Nice. And then we'll do the barrage to the ripple frog. Why not? And then hopefully we'll get close to leveling up soon. Okay, we go one box. An attack one. That is actually incredibly handy. Let's equip that onto Annalise. And give her the use of Firebolt as well. Is that right? Is that what I did last time? Hmm. Have to figure out the puzzle here. Let's go flip right. All that does is do the same thing again. Okay. Good to know. So, what must it be that I'm missing here? 
I think we should return to the other room. As we get a surprise attack here. Let's just attack randomly and then we'll use the fireball up. Onto your boy. Perhaps we should go back and try and find that healing area first. This thing we've just killed them by itself. There's one. Ooh, there's a whole bunch of boxes here. And then we'll take this one dude do down too. Let's just attack. With a cell, use Firebolt with this dude. There's one out of the way. And then just attack. And that's easily done between oh, the two yeah. of us. EP charge. Tear bomb. And a mind. So, the mind will definitely be equipping onto Estelle. So we can get Tear and Aqua Bleed too. Hmm. Okay, this one just does the same one, so maybe we have to go back to the original one. So we take out that dude. We're actually gonna craft Screw it, we'll do it for both. Gonna use them up now. And then just attack regularly. Oh yeah! Oh yeah. So I need to remain that. Let's actually go back and use the healing thing. There is no harm, I don't think, anyway. Right, so I think we're going to have to go back and use this. Um, use, put that liver back down. And hopefully it will make it swap in the other one. Is that the, the thought process I'm having? I think that's the thought process I'm having. We're almost level 40. I wonder what level we're going to get to by the end of this game. Uh, so we need to put this one back anyway. This is smart test of training. Here, yeah, it must be said. Right. Over to here, back into this room. As we got surprised, which is annoying, but... Fireball and slugs seems like the best course of action, because they're just a little bit more beefy than anything else. And then we can just, between the two of us, take this dude down. Are you invincible? Nice. Uh, right. So the water's obviously down here right now. It's rusted. So it seems it will not work. Okay, so that just has the same effect anyway. So let's bring the water back here. I think that makes the most sense. Because now we can't move back, but let's check what effect that has had on the ones down here. 
Surprise attack. They keep on getting us with these. One. Two. Attack hit. Yeah, nice. And then we do a miss. That's annoying. Not the end of the world. Oh, come on, guys. Hit it. So, let's go back to here and put... This one back to here, and hopefully that will allow us to continue on. As we get hit once again, good thing. But let's just use these skills. No point staying on them. Although I'm aware that there might be a fight later on, I'm not against using those up. And then we're actually just gonna single this one out. So we can use the piercing wave. I should deal with that one. Oh, yeah. That bloke there. And we're almost at a level up for a spell anyway. Right. Let's try back in here. Has the water gone down? Let's take out these four guys. Firstly. One. Two. And then we're just going to attack here. For the easy, easy money. Oh, yeah. And we get a level up with Estelle. Always handy. Many handy because it means that she will heal. We got that. So, what am I looking for here? Really? Because I'm looking to make this go down. One. That's fine. As we want to build up our CP for these chain attacks. Am I? You are invis invincible. Invincible. So. That takes the water down. As we get a preemptive attack. Meaning that we'll be able to do our fire attacks. Fairly easy. One. Two. Oh yeah. I want more of the preemptive attacks. Let's do a chain. That's annoying that they don't come together, but. Boom. There's one down. Try and save some of the EP. Even though we do have an EP charge now. Water cannon. So I'm guessing Annalise is sticking around with us. So we will be getting different characters. I'm guessing that Mr. Graham is going to become a rather large point of the game, too. Which I am a okay with, guys. Right. Fire here. <laughs> Completely fine with this. Take one out. And then we should, between the two of us, be able to hit these other ones in the mouth. Hit him hard with a stick. Oh, we had a miss there. That's fine. I'm not going to worry too much. Just save the EP a little bit. So, we're back onto this side. Ooh, there's some fangs here. So let's go around. A surprise cookie. Found scrap paper with a surprise cookie recipe on it. Learn the surprise cookie recipe. Nice. Reviving balm. Found a whole bunch of different syrup, which obviously very handy for when we start optimizing and upgrading these slots. ultimately we want. Let's use these fire attacks to get rid of this fight fairly easy. We should give a heal though ASAP to Annalise. So we'll do that next time. We'll do that now. In fact, item. Who baked this thing? Who knows? Uh... <laughs> Let's use our augments here. We can use... Who's got... Yeah, Estelle's got more. So let's save her. And do one heal onto Annalise. Monsters appeared. Okay. I have a feeling that this is probably going to be a bit of a... Of a thang. 
So we should chain. Hmm. No, I don't think it's actually handy so they come close to each other. So let's take out some of these froggos first. And just hope that we don't die. Water cannon. They're moving. Take out one. Take out another. But luckily, these are now grouped up together so we can do a chain. And take out three at the same time. What a nice addition this is, I must say. I truly believe it's a good addition to the game. Makes it a little bit more interesting. Having the combos. And it makes sense, really. Oh yeah! That's an added factor. We found a cast. You open chest, see riches beyond your wife's mansion. Take first step to victory dance, you awaken. It was a dream. <laughs> That's quite funny. Uh, I'm guessing it's going to have monsters too. Found an EP charge. Treasure chest advertising for the low low price of 900 mira per month. Take out one there. Then we're just going to attack this one down. We're going to crit here. Cooled allies. Okay, attack this one. Let's take out this one. Then we'll use this piercing wave. Oh yeah! Get ourselves some clear gems in. Nothing I can see there. As we move on to the next section. These things are very simple enough for us to defeat. Just by uh, hitting. I am not too worried. Though I should think about healing sometime soon. Health is wealth. Right. So we're going to have to use this lever. Let's use some of these tear bombs that we've got just to heal up a little bit onto Estelle. Feels like we're coming to the end of this. Ah, uh, very good. You found your way down here. Guard? Hang on a second, you were at the entrance, how'd you get here before us? To tell you the truth, there are a few secret passages through the channel. While you worked your way down here, the main path I simply came here directly. Man, now all this hard work put in beating those monsters and stuff feels like a waste. Thanks, Kurt. Anyway, busy work aside, isn't this deep as sewers go? Is this the end of our line, right? Quite so, your point. So the confidential demands are, um... <laughs> what the? Oh man, I knew it. I'm afraid my role is exercised to be an armed foreign infiltrator. It is still documents. As we have the same goal, my only option is to remove you by force. Wait, what? Documents are just an excuse to get us here. The real point is to test how unexpected battle during a mission, isn't it? Indeed, well spotted at least. That being said, prepare yourselves. Okay. What do we know about Kurt? He's not really weak to anything. But. Let's clock up. and use a tear on ourselves. He missed. Very handy. Okay, craft. We'll do a... We'll do a chain, actually. Why not? Then we'll use a... Firebolt against him. We'll do a morale as well. And then we'll do another art here. We'll do an 8 with bits. And then we're just going to attack regularly. And then we should heal with your dude.
We're not going to have enough here, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the tear. Just to make sure the she's healed. Defense is up. That's annoying. Okay. We're just going to attack until we get the crafts up. By my art, become hard as steel. This is annoying. Yeah, come on. I'm thinking what's the best idea. Soul Blur. Especially if he is coming from us from here. Let's go for Firebolt. By my art, he's calling as ocean waves. We need to just get out of position. He's, he's, he's healing himself, which is annoying, not the end of the world. Okay, better off just to attack. Then we'll do a. Uh, We're actually just going to attack here as well. If, someone, if he heals, it's not the end of the world. Let's just attack again. And attack again. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We just want to get the craft up a little bit. She's still out of it, but let's use the craft too. By my art, calling as ocean waves. Maybe even if we do this, if I use a hurricane here. Yeah. This guy needs to fuck off. Craft. We're to go. <laughs> nice. That seemed to work fairly well. And then that's it. Oh yeah. And we got a fair amount of syrup with there, and we got a heaven's eye. Mm, I wasn't even holding back that time. Well done, that was a clean victory. <laughs> we won? Yes, my arms say otherwise, but we did. Just what do you expect from an artful tactician? Two on one, we barely won. Alright, with the infiltrator neutralized, documents have been recovered. The mission is complete. So training for today is... is over, right? Oh, are we? After a brief lunch at the end, we'll be heading to St. Croix Forest in the south. We'll engage in a bit of bonus training there. Think of it as a chance to make up for any mistakes you made here. Oh boy. Kurt, come on, cut us some slack here. That concludes today's training. You did well, you two. You must be tired, I imagine. Yeah, just a bit. I'll say, I feel like my legs are gonna fall off. That was the hardest thing we've done here. We need to stay and work on your endurance a bit, perhaps. But we shall get some rest this evening. You ha we have quite a day tomorrow. Yes, sir. See you in a bit, Kurt. Today was like hardball played with boulders. Sounds like it's almost it for our training here at Lalak, though. Sure feels about it. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy I'm almost done, but it feels a little sad at the same time, you know. Oh, he was amazing, too. Kurt is really strong, isn't he? He took us both on at once. I got the feeling he could have kept going. Yeah, he got he could have thrown us like or else around like Spears. I mean, he got the Artful Tactician title because he's the second best bracer in all liberal, you know. The very best is your dad, of course. Oh, I see. Oh yeah, speaking of, I think Shira mentioned this to you once, but there's seven ranks of senior bracers, G to A. I'm F rank currently, and I've only been a senior for half a year. Kurt's B, that's pretty much A even. He's getting promoted real soon. Well, rank A, they'll put him in the same level as Zin. 
Though there's certain someone that can only take down Kurt, but still his memory. Do I really have to have a chance against someone like that? Estelle? What's wrong? You look so serious all of a sudden. Oh, sorry, I was just spacing out for a second, I guess. Spacing out, huh? Spacing out about Joshua, right? Well, you could say that, I guess. I kind of figured as much. I haven't wanted to pry or anything, but sure to tell me a little bit about what happened. You must be worried sick. I really do hope he's okay. Yeah, but hey, I'm not wor too worried. Joshua is the last boy who ran away from home because of a misunderstanding. I bring him back, even if I have to tie him, hit a leash around his neck and walk him home, kinky. <laughs> That's the spirit. I'll pay a good mirror to see that, too. Estelle, keep that up and you will find Joshua. I give you my super shiny sheeny base a guarantee. Thanks, Annalise. Um, didn't we finish talking about how we were really old or senior yet? Wait, Estelle, you meanie face. You're saying that I'm like a kid, aren't you? Uh, no, that's not what I meant at all. Man, I'm like two years older than you two. Well, to be honest, I'd much rather be your friend than your superior. So, we're friends forever, right? <clears throat> you bet. Okay then, time to shoot off to bed and rest for tomorrow. You seem kind of bush to sell. You want to skip tomorrow's morning practice? No, that's okay. No matter how tired I get, good night's nice sleep here as always seems to be charged me right back up. As long as you're up for it, I'm good. Sweet, I'll do some more stuffing beating tomorrow morning then, okay? For now, good night. Good night, Annalise. I am beat. Time to go crash in a nice warm bed. Though hang on, did we get a lot of syrup during training mission today? Putting you a set of quartz sounds like a good idea right about now. Maybe I should buy a proper before I go to bed. But I think that's a good place to say, if you've enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.